Hi everybody, this is Tim from Boat Shed Yacht Brokers on board this McWester Seaforth from 1979 for a look around her cockpit and her aft cabin in glorious virtual reality. Now what does that mean to you? That means that you can look around where you like, when you like, you don't have to look where I'm looking and we hope that this really brilliant new feature will allow you to feel what it's like to be on this boat without actually being here. Now, as it's a virtual reality video, I will move the camera around and some people are sensitive to that. So if you feel that maybe you, when I know, when I let you know I'm going to move the camera, if you could avert your eyes, I'll let you know when the camera's safely back down and you can return to us for the rest of the tour. But let's hope that doesn't happen. So here we are. Now, what, how am I feeling? I'm feeling quite warm. It's a beautiful sunny day if you're sitting in cockpits. But here we are. We're on this the McWester Sea Force from 1979 and we're sitting in her cockpit and I'm feeling very very safe and very very secure because not only have we got these lovely great big um, cockpit sides here or combings which keeps the wind out, the rain out etc it means we can snuggle down here when it's a little bit rough or even when it's sunny perhaps uh, we've got a really nice hard top as well and windows which gives us that protection from the sea so no, uh, no, no spray hoods here no flimsy canvas, we've got good, hard, GRP and covering etc. And if we just look forward we can see we've got a big window so we've got a great view from the helm so really good for driving the boat, really good for keeping watch out etc. And as we go aft the, uh, the hard top does stop and gives us this view from behind so we've got a really good all round view when helming this boat. Very very important in indeed. What else shall I talk about? Let's go down. So as we go down, now you're sitting on the port cockpit locker, nice big locker in there, locked at the moment so I can't show you what's in there uh, but we have the gas locker in there um, and lots of other bits and pieces and if I just move over to this side uh, we can see uh, on the starboard side we've got a great big locker which I can open for you let's have a quick look and uh, behind here we've got the, the bilge pump we've got uh, a gas bottle stowage there and we have the batteries underneath the cover there and also the battery charger too and room for about uh, 20 or 30 people on top I should think but only joking lots of room in there for all sorts of bits and pieces somewhere to uh, hook onto here and here and uh, generally the rest of the cockpit is given over to just space. We've got a nice strong cockpit sole here. This does lift up if I just uh, lift it very gently for you. It's very, very heavy. And underneath there, if you can just see, we've got the engine. Nice uh, 38 horsepower four-cylinder BMC unit. And uh, good access to it, though at sea you'll have trouble because we've got a very heavy lid and the chances are the helm and or somebody else is going to be standing on this, so I suppose we could uh, lift our legs up, etc. There is access through the cabin there as well, if needs be, but you can't get through it, it's too small to get through, but uh, probably large enough to stick a torch in and just have a look to make sure all is okay. Something we like to do about once an hour at sea, everyone. <laughs> so um, let's carry on around here. So looking forwards. We've got the, the helm steering, engine speed, oil temperature, battery voltage, uh, water temperature, etc, etc. If I just move over here out of the way, excuse me, little shelf for your knickknacks, all very important. We've got the compass here, and up here we've got some uh, probably slightly long in the tooth instruments. So we've got the uh, we've got speed, we've got the wind angle indicator, wind speed indicator, and the echo sounder, pretty much the basic instrument you'd expect to find on a boat like this. We've got the engine stop here, we've got the engine start here, um, but other than that quite a basic cockpit but feeling nice and enclosed which I really really like. So um, all good. Now what I'll do is I'll pick up the camera now and I will take you down to the after cabin. So uh, let's go and uh, through we go. Not too bad to get down at all. I'll place you in the port forward corner so you can see all around and I'll move out the way to give you a better view. Don't want Tim in the way. And uh, as you can see, step over step down and you're in. Small standing area, although the, the, the standing area probably is about five feet, so it's a bit of a crouch, but when you're here, it's absolutely fine. But when you're anywhere else, the chances are you'll be sitting anyway or going to bed, I think. Now, looking around, a lot of this boat has got sort of saggy headlining, although it's not actually come down, but in areas it has, you can see it's come down there and on the port side as well. But let's try to look past that for a moment and look at the features of the boat. Nice wood here, a shelf that goes in a U-shape all the way around, a smaller shelf as well or maybe that's more of a grab handle possibly and uh, a cubby hole at the stern there it looks like we have some cockpit cushions at the back there and uh, a couple of curtains and a couple of opening windows the, the, the opening windows on this boat do need some attention I think they benefit from being removed and blasted and painted possibly but that may be up to you um, 
Looking forwards, we've got uh, a nice cubby hole there, nice and deep, and one on the port side too. And uh, obviously you are sitting on one of the nice comfy beds. Now they are quite long, they look long to me, they're nice and wide, so I'd uh, be quite happy spending a bit of time down here, no worries at all. Cool, so uh, yeah, let's take you back up to the cockpit where we'll just sum up. Quick step up and over the combing and in we go. I'll place you in the port forward corner now. So this has been Tim from Boatshed Drop Rokers showing you around the cockpit and the after cabin of this McWester Seaforth dating from 1979. We've looked at the nice cabin which feels really safe with the high combings, the hard top over the top. We've got the wheel steering and the instruments there, great view. Uh, not easy access to the engine at sea but you could if you wanted to although there's a viewing port from the uh, forward end and I think from inside as well. Uh, two great big lockers here for lots of uh, provisions, stores etc and uh, down in the aft cabin we've got two nice big wide long berths with storage underneath which I don't think I mentioned, access to the steering gear, lots of shelving and generally a decent place to stay for the weekend or longer with a little bit of separate accommodation from the forward. So hope you've enjoyed the video, hope you've got an idea of what it's like to be on this lovely old boat and more than anything hope you've enjoyed the tour and we hope to see you in the future thanks for watching take care